What is going on, everyone? Welcome to the Pokey Office. My name is Colin. Paldian Fates released on Friday, so now it's been the weekend. We're going to look at the changes in the market because, as always, when a new set releases, prices start off really high because we're at pre-release and people want to make their money. And for some reason, people keep buying those cards at pre-release pricing. And then the weekend hits and people start being able to post on TCG Player and the prices start coming down. And you know the drill. But uh, big changes in Paldian Fates over the weekend, though I have to say the top cards are actually holding relatively strong uh, through the release weekend, so I'm looking forward to that. Looking forward to looking at Paldian Fates uh, quite a few times over the first couple weeks since release. Uh, so that's what's up for today. Let's get to the data and see what these top cards are at after the weekend. Okay, so on Friday, we looked at all the cards on that current day that were worth $10 plus, and now we're going to look at all those cards again. There's going to be lots of them that are below $10 now because they've come down to earth. Uh, but there's also, like I said in the introduction, lots of the top cards actually holding their value like decently well. So starting off with Capsa Kid, this one has dropped like substantially, almost a three times drop, currently at $3.54 after starting at $10.10. I suspect some of these have like, the pre-release pricing is really high, and then it takes a little bit of time for people to actually upload their cards and their prices to TCG Player. So I have a feeling that's probably why it takes all weekend to get some of these drops, and I think some of these cards are continuing to drop now even as we speak. Our Bolova started at 20 this one down huge as well, down to $5.20, another one that shouldn't really be an expensive card in my opinion, but just started off high because there wasn't a lot in existence before release day. Wiglet down a lot, uh, cut in more than half, down to $5.34, started at $13 on Friday. Gardevoir EX, this is our first full art shiny or shiny ultra rare ultra rare shiny something like that i get them all confused twelve dollars and eight cents is where it was on friday when i recorded now it's at six dollars and 35 cents so not that expensive of a card then we have cadabra started at eleven dollars and 24 cents now down to six dollars and 90 cents then spiritum uh actually not a huge drop on this one so lots of these cards still in that seven to ten dollar price range which is pretty good in my opinion eleven dollars and 24 cents is where this one was on friday now it's at seven dollars and one cent Paldi and Wooper at $7.02, similar type of card. Then we have another ultra rare shiny, the Pidgeot EX, uh, kind of cut in half down to $7.13. Then we have Baxcalibur down to $7.57, so lots in this $7 to $8 range. Vileplume, $7.64. Then we have Graphii, I, 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 $7.86 is where this one currently sits. Followed by Tandemouse. Now we're above the $8 mark here. Tandemouse is at $8.04, down from $13.99. Slowpoke, $13.19 is where this one was on Friday, now down to $8.33. Then we have Ting Lu EX, the first hyper rare uh, gold card that we. Uh, are looking at here today down to eight dollars and 78 cents the crazy thing about the gold cards is that i think i counted i opened right close to 270 packs on friday's live stream we only pulled one gold card we pulled a lot of special illustration rares only one gold card so these things supposedly are quite rare uh, I don't know what everyone else's experience has been. So if you have opened up Paldian Fates, let me know down in the comments below. Have you opened up a gold card yet or are they as rare as my batch of uh, packs that we were opening? Another gold card to talk about, the Coridon EX down from $12 to $9.19. Hey, you want to get some Paldian Fates for yourself? Uh, TCGandgames.com right now has stock available. We've partnered up together, so he supports the channel. I support his uh, site a little bit as well. So you can use the promo code the Pokey Office for 5% off your next Pokemon order at TCGandgames.com. Go check him out. The link is down below in the description. Okay, carrying on, we got Sarah Ledge down big time. $19 is where it was on Friday, now down to $9.28, so that's a big, big drop. Klefki, also a huge drop from $21.50 to $9.58. Then we have the Raichu, $12 to $10.05. This one uh, holding its value not too bad. I could see this one being in that like $5 to $10 range long term for sure because it's Pikachu's evolved form. Then we have another Hyper Rare, Chiyu EX, 1564 is where it was on Friday. Now it's at $10.26. Starmie, my favorite or one of my favorite shiny Pokemon, especially in Pokemon Go, I keep saying it because it looks so awesome. $16.49 is where it was pre-weekend. Now it's at $10.79 post-weekend. Then we have the Entei. This one dropped huge. This one was a big card. It was like one of the big giveaways on Friday. Um, 
thirty dollars and forty seven cents is where it was on Friday. It dropped a lot, almost uh, two times a drop down to eleven dollars and forty six cents. Then we have the Mu EX Full Art or Ultra Rare Shiny actually has gained a little bit. First one in the green that I think we've seen today. $11.30 is where it was on Friday. Now it's at $12.19. Chien Pao EX down big from $27.50 to $12.45 for that hyper rare gold card. Now we're getting into some of the bigger ones. Arvin, special illustration rare. The first special illustration rare that's come up on the list started at $22.20 on Friday. Now down to $14.75. Then we have Lucario, always a really popular shiny Pokemon down about half, $28.97 where it was started. Now it's at $14.87. Okay, getting into the big one, Snorlax. I think we pulled two of these on Friday night, and it's a really, really good-looking card. Up, one of the few that's up again, $10.86 where it started on Friday. Now it's at $14.91, so like basically a 40% gain. That's pretty nice. Then we have the Maridon EX down from $26.09 to $16.80. Charmeleon, uh, not doing too bad. Well, actually, it's still down a lot, but it's a cool-looking card. I definitely want the Charmander and the Charmeleon. Charmeleon down to $17.45. Charmander holding its value okay, but still like a $10 drop here as well, just as the Charmeleon did. $29.82 is where it was on Friday. Now it's at $19.73. Then we have the Penny. Very first pack of Paldean Fates I ever opened on live stream. We pulled this one. Uh, pretty cool card. And someone pointed this out. I didn't even notice it at the time, but there's an Umbreon in the foreground, like right at the bottom of the picture. And it, I mean, it makes the picture that much cooler because I didn't really notice. I just saw the Pokeball and Penny with the EV backpack. But there is an Umbreon. This card going for $22.98. So down. Uh, pretty significant amount over the weekend. Then we have Clive pulled this one as well. A really cool card down from $37.15. Now it's at $24.54 in the market over the weekend. We're getting into some really big ones here. Nimona, uh, $41.59 is where it started. Now it's down to $25.33. Then we have the biggest baby shiny of them all, the Pikachu, down quite a bit from $58 to $31.85. All right, the top four cards, Gardevoir EX, currently at $66.12, so about a 30% drop uh, over the weekend for this one, started at $97.43. Then we have the Iono Special Illustration Rare, similar type of thing, about a 30% drop from $92.13 to $66.41. Pulled this one, absolutely gorgeous. I really, really like this card. Also pulled this one, the Mew, and really not a ton of change here, 95.65 down to 92.32 or 35. So really this card holding its value quite nicely, leading us to the final card, which we also pulled two of. Absolutely a stunning live stream on Friday. If you didn't watch it, you should go back and check some of it out. Uh, started at $161.32. Now it's at 156.64, leading us into opening up some Paldian Fates. Uh, let's, I'll flip the screen around and see you on the flip side. All right, it's the day I've been waiting for. Uh, I opened a few packs for myself on the Friday live stream, but haven't really got too much into it for myself, only opening for others. So I got nine packs in front of me. I only have 29 packs left. Uh, I'm ordering some more, but I want to keep 20 left just in case we need some for upcoming live streams or whatever. So got to hold off a little bit. So nine packs today. Let me know what you think about Paldean Fates. I think it's a good exercise to remember a couple recent videos we looked at crown zenith one year in the markets have completely tanked so uh there's there's bound to be some reprints of paldian fates it's a popular shiny set all the all the bunch so i expect lots of these prices to come way way down so be careful don't be fomoing there's going to be lots available there's going to be lots of singles available you don't need to buy them right off the bat uh, that being said, it's a super fun set to open, way more fun than I anticipated, especially when I pulled the Iono, the two Charizards, the uh, Mew. I mean, these cards are absolutely gorgeous, let me tell you. And the baby shinies just add a little bit extra to it, which is super fun. The pull rates seem to be ridiculously good in terms of, like, we were pulling, I don't know, 60% of the packs had a hit in it. So they might not be worth like tons, but it, it was really fun. So let's get into it. Nine packs. See if we can pull something fire. Let's do this thing. All right. Come on. Uh, I mean, what's the, what's the ticket? I think we, my camera's a little bit changed too. So I gotta, gotta make sure that we're holding it the right way here. 
Clive. Well, I pulled this one like a million times already, which is kind of funny. There definitely seemed to be a little bit of a batching issue. Okay, like honestly, we pulled a lot of duplicates out of 300 packs. So, I don't know. Tell me what you think. But it sure feels like there's a little bit of batching happening where, I don't know, we, ju we just pulled so many duplicates. But that being said, if we, if there is batching happening, well, then I just hope that we continue getting Charizards and Mews and Ionos. Like, we did pull some of the biggest hits, so it's not all bad if that's the case. But uh, definitely, it felt like something was a little bit awry. Anyways, it was super fun. I was live for five hours. Um, Squawkabilly EX, that's the ultra rare shiny. Not too shabby, not too shabby. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, the other thing that I was going to tell you is that I can't remember what I was going to say now. I'm losing it. I'm just too excited about that Squawkabilly. Okay, okay, let's go. Yeah, the pull rates are quite good, it seems like. I do love the special illustration rares in the set. The Clive is like a really cool, unique artwork. The Iono really pops when you're holding it in person. Uh, the Mew is like, everyone loves the Mew, I think. And then the, oh boy, what's this? Noivern, see, we pulled that one too. That's a special illustration rare though coming up. Come on, baby, come on, come on. Three, two, one, Nimona. Okay, that's a double banger pack right there. That's what I'm talking about. Nimona. Okay. Nimona Special Illustration Rare and the Noivern Ultra Rare Shiny. That is a very nice pack. Not the uh, most expensive of the Special Illustration Rares, but still. Hot dang. All right, these packs are pumping. Uh, I can't remember if we pulled the Nimona or not. But let's see here. All right, come on. See, the hit rates are just so good in this set that uh, it definitely feels exciting to open. Already a special illustration rare. We got two full art shinies. Haven't pulled a baby shiny yet, which is actually kind of outrageous, but let's see if we got this pack plus two more. So see if we can get something going here. Dash bun, speak of it. There's a baby shiny. There's the regular Nimona. All right. I just, the fact that, that you can get a double banger pack again after Paradox Rift you couldn't is a really, really nice change. I like that a lot. Um, honestly, I just, there's a lot I like about the set. Uh, though I do think the cards are gonna come down. I remember what I was gonna say. The Charizard uh, Special Illustration Rare is a card that I didn't really expect to think was amazing. Ooh, Charizard. Um, I kind of thought it was like, okay, it looks cool, but it's not like a huge chase for me, but it is a huge chase for me. Uh, I pulled two of them, and in person, it is a showstopper, let me tell you. Let me tell you, it is a complete and utter showstopper. I love it. This is the last pack. Come on, let's get one more hit out of here. Doesn't look like it. Nada, but I mean, how do you complain about that? We got the Charizard, the Dash Bun, uh, Baby Shiny, the Noivern, Nimona, Special Illustration Rare, Squawkabilly EX, and the Clive Ultra Rare. I mean, that's a lot of hits out of just nine packs. That's what I'm talking about. Anyways, that's going to do it. We're going to be looking at Paldean Fates a lot more as the markets continue to change throughout the first month of release. So look forward to that. I'm definitely looking forward to it. It's a really fun set to open so far. So uh, stay tuned. The videos come out Monday, Wednesday, Friday if you're new. And if you are new, hit the subscribe button for me. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. Uh, it really helps out the channel. I appreciate you all, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace!